guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Wind Waker. I am Fari Red Hero 8, and we are now at the Angular Isles, so let's get started on this one. This one's a... Okay. That's a very odd angle. This is a more of a, well, it's a puzzle island. But you get two nice treasures for it, so it's well worth it, and it's actually a rather simple puzzle. It took me a little bit to figure it out as I have already established that puzzles are definitely not my forte. But this one I didn't have to go to a guide to actually figure it out. Which which to some of you might be like, well, why would you need a guide? This is so easy. But to me, when it comes to um, Zelda, I am not a very good puzzle person. Okay. Let me see if I can do it without screwing it up. Because well, you need to you need to have it over here first, so you can even get it out, and then like that. Okay, I don't think that's exactly what I wanted to do, but we'll see. Oh, actually, okay, we did we did do it. Wait, not quite. Oh wait, we're good. Yay! Because there's not a lot of good gravity physics in this game, but I'll take it. Thought I'd screwed it up. But you know, obviously, if you go outside and back in, it's fine. And you get a rather nice puzzle. You get a nice reward for the simple puzzle, so definitely take it. Because it is 200 rupees. A lot easier way to get rupees than to hit Orca almost a thousand times, which I'll definitely take. But that's all you can get in here. And then outside, we're going to have to. Actually, change the wind direction again, I think. Yes, we're gonna have to. Because I'm facing the opposite way. This next one, I don't even know if it's really called a puzzle. It's just really, you just have to get your way to the top to get what's up there. So, I don't know if that's really a puzzle. You just, but we'll see. Because as you can see, there is a treasure chest up there. So, let me... Get over here. And you can tell which blocks you can push because they have designs on them. The other ones don't. Okay, where is it? Right here. Okay. Obviously, you can't pull it all the way out, but no matter. Alright. This way. And then... That's fine. Okay, and that's pretty much it, you know, not really a puzzle, I don't think. And you're here. Okay, you know what? I'm not, why would I do that? I have no idea. Because I didn't want to change the damn boomerang. Die! That's a real dickish move, putting him up here like that. But, all good things come in spiky chests. So it's well worth it. And we get another piece of heart, really cool, awesome. So we have, I think, we just got two in the last two episodes. Now we're done with this island, so now we need to go to the boating course. Not really, not necessarily, my um, goal isn't necessarily to race boats, but I'll explain more about that when I get there. So I'll be right back. Alright, okay, we are at the boating course. So let's see how this turns out because from what I have read I think it's mainly you just earn money from this so it's not a mandatory side quest but we'll give it a shot alright nothing here alright what's going on hey that's a pretty slick boat you got there kiddo thanks so what do you say kiddo you wanna play a boat game for 30 rupees okay what do you say tell me the rules well I ain't that good a talker but here goes. Now listen up. The deal is, you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water and see how many rupees you can bring to the finish line within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you gotta watch out for. The ones that float on their sides and the ones that float upright. You can get the rupees above the barrels floating in on their sides by just sailing right over the barrels. But if you run into barrels floating upright in the water, they'll rough you up. You can press R to jump your boat, right? Yeah. Well, get to the rupees over the upright barrels. You gotta jump. Okay, I already know that. The barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch the wind gauge behind your boat real careful-like. 
Oh, and one more thing. If time runs out before you finish, you lose. So watch your timer. Them's the rules. What do you say? Alright, we'll give it one shot, but I'm not really going to be rupee grinding, even if I do lose 30 rupees, because I'm not good at this kind of thing. Alright. Does it automatically set us? It does, alright. We can just go like that. Alright. Jump! It says to um, oft often um, know about the... I don't know why I'm doing that. I can just do this. Yay! It says to um, try to do your sharp turn, which actually the sharp turn you just jump and then turn left or right. So when you land is when you'll be actually when you will turn. So, but I'm not very good at that either. Yeah, this is all right. I don't know why I'm jumping for that one. I want the one of the ten. Three minutes of this? Really? Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm not going for that. <laughs> I'm lazy. I know. I'm just like sailing here, not doing anything. Okay, we'll go for this one. Oh my god, I thought I was going to die. Well, I already got 60 some rupees. That's not bad. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this. Or if I've done it, I like lost right away. And it was when I, fir I actually first got this game back in 2009, but I watched a Let's Play of it. Yeah, this is definitely not an auto-adjust camera kind of game. Let's see if I can do this one. Let's see. Sharp turn! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Alright, I see that 20. I want it. I want it! Woohoo! Awesome! Alright, not bad. We got 118 rupees for that. I would okay. So you could do that easily instead of um, doing that dragon roost island battle dungeon. Oh, way to be! Alrighty then, here's the 118 rupees you collected as promised. They're all yours. Enjoy, kiddo. Looks like you made a fortune. Come back and do it again sometime. I thought I made more than that. Oh well. I just said two seconds ago what I made, and here I am like, oh, I, I made more than that. Whatever. Okay, so we made a shot. Actually kind of fun, so if you just want to sail... You can do that. Um, okay, and there's an island in the south. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's an island to the south of here with a cave in it. So let me look for it. I think it's down here. Or is that even it? Because I know there's, like, the boating course is for fun, but there is something on this island we need to collect. So let's hope I can get it. Okay, these are just rafts. It said float to an island south. I'm just remembering what the guide said to me. There's a treasure chest on here. Don't even. Screw you! You can die for that. I don't even care anymore. You guys can just sit there. You guys are a pain in the ass. Alright. Because there's... Oh, okay, it's over there. And you get 20 rupees for it. So, we'll take it. And you can just look for us the other direction and fit... What? What? I thought there was something here! Like, 20 rupees. Are you effing serious? Again, I fail. Oh, well. I'll take it out on you. Come here! You don't even hide good treasure! You suck! You suck as a pirate! You're not supposed to have treasures like that. You're supposed to have, like, rupees. Rupees by the ass load. Seriously, like this. This pirate knows what he's doing. Even though he has them in jars. And I've stolen your booty. Now you gotta die. Come on. Let's go. Way to be. Well, that was for nothing, pretty much. Okay. We need to go back north because there's an island up there that we need to go to. At least, am I going crazy or what? Let's, let's go back. Oh my goodness. Um, go. There we go. That's the boating course. Now there's an island up here. Or am I just crazy? There's one all the way down there, but... 
Oh my goodness, I better not have to look for it, and I don't want to do that. Let me just check to see what's up here. Because all I saw were rafts, or maybe I'm thinking about a different island, but I don't think I am. Okay, is there anything hidden? Wait a minute, it's over there! I am such a dumbass! Okay, and the wind seems to be in a good enough direction I could probably get over there. Or not. <gasps> just made it. Oh, thank god. I hate the deco leaf for that reason. It's because you might not look like you can make it, and if you just hit it with your feet, you won't climb. You'll just bob against it. Okay, one of these. That's fine. Just as long as it's not as savage as the shark isle. Stop hitting me, you little jerks. Oh, great. Wait a minute. Why are there switches here? I don't remember that. Am I going to have to hit them in order to stop? I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I don't want to have to... You know what? I'm going to be a baby about this. I'm going to try to see if I can hit switches from afar here without actually having to start a fight with these guys. Because it looks to me like that's the only thing I'm going to have to do to make this stop. Damn it! Go away! Manual being sucks. Great. We're gonna have to be in the center to do this. Wait a minute, they're still on. Okay, give me that one. No! Not you! You fucking jerk! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm like right in the middle. Now watch those switches are gonna go white again. I'll take it, whatever. What? No! Okay. Whatever. I got hit. <laughs> That's stupid. That's that's retarded. I'm sorry. <laughs> but maybe it's retarded just because I didn't expect it. If I expected it, I would have been fine. And that's the stupid thing about myself. A submarine chart. Alright, this can tell you where all the submarines in the Great Sea are. So let's just open it up and check that out. Submarine chart. So that's where they all are. Okay, well we've gotten most of them. That's kind of neat looking. And you all guys can... whatever. Hey! I wanted a heart. I didn't want that. Alright, go away. F and seagull-like thingies. Whoa, one of them's just, like, in the air. Okay, that took longer than we needed to, but we got it. So, now we are going to the final island in the Great Sea. Cool. I think there's only... It's kind of like, um... There, well, why do I explain it now? I'll explain it when I get there. Alright, let me... Where's my boat at? Seriously? Oh my goodness, see my boat's smarter than I am because he just goes out nearest the entrance where I just went and then I go look for him and he's not where he was. Alright, so I will see you guys when I get to Five Star Isle. Alrighty guys, we are in the sector of Five Star Isle, which is right over there. Unfortunately, that actually the island itself is not really anything useful on it. It's just a place to grind for golden feathers if you needed it. And other than that, there's a lookout tower over there, which houses another golden feather. So the only useful place in the sector is right here. And you can go grab more. Is there another treasure chest on these? Maybe that's what I was thinking about that had the 20 rupees. Let me go look. Just so I know. Nope. Okay, fine. Or is it right there? It's right there! Okay, of course. I read the wrong thing, but hey, I found it, so... Take this. Alright, there's the 20 rupees. Alright, cool. And I don't need any more joy pendants, so let's just go into the submarine. And then we will be finished with all the explorations of the Great Sea! Alright! Now I just gotta figure out what to do next! <laughs> um, what's up there? Keys. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. You know what? 
Let's just pick you off, why not? Why don't we? It's probably a waste of arrows, but you know what? Oh, come on. There's one hiding right up there, too. I see you. Eh. Where's the other one? I see one way back there in the distance. Oh, my God. You barely see him, but he's right... Right... There. Ah. Uh, I miss all the time. Damn it. That's probably not all of them, but hey, we got a lot of them. Stop hitting me with that, man. You bizotch. Don't know why I said that, of all things. I just like that. I like that term when I heard NCS use it in Ocarina of Time. It was funny because when um, I was on, like, Early on in my diet, when I was talking to my cousin, because we're, we're not really in this together, but we're both dieting at the same time, and I said, don't worry, in summer we'll be some hot bizotches. But I really liked when he said that. I thought it was funny, so... Like, I'm not going to use it in LPs or anything. I just thought it was funny. Alright. Do we need to light this a torch? Oh, cool! Actually, I don't... I think it's supposed to light itself, but... That's fine. We can help the pr programmers out a little bit and light it for them. There we go! We got another piece of heart. So now we have the fourth. We have a heart container. Awesome. We only need three more. But I'm thinking a lot of... There's several pieces of heart left, but I think they're in treasure charts. So... That, um... Ironically? Well, not ironically, but... <laughs> That concludes all of the island exploration, I believe. We have done everything. Uh, I mean, you know, save the things that we really didn't need to do. We did them. So, I think really all that's left now is to... I think there's some blooper... Not bloopers. I always call them bloopers. Big Octo's left to fight. I'm not sure. I gotta check on it. We have to do all the treasure charts. And then we have to do... We have to do, do all the Triforce charts. We have to do those. And then, I believe, it, once we have those, we can get the Triforce and complete the game. So, yeah, even though several things left, coming down to the wire. And I'm pretty excited. Like, not excited for it to end, but just everything coming together. So, I am just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm beyond words. But I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.